Fox has been great, man. They, people, great people. They've been good to me. Uh, you know, we got great chemistry on the show, and uh, you're gonna keep it going in, in this 2022 season. A lot to be excited about, and uh, you know, very thankful for the opportunities on all the courts. You talk about your prep. I saw something where you were like, "Hey, I'm a journalist now. I gotta prepare." And all yeah, that's that. The, yeah, that's my joke around the house. You know, I <laughs> tell my wife I'm preparing like I'm a journalist, even though I didn't major in that, and that's that wasn't my profession. This was my profession, um, professional sports. But uh, you know, it's amazing to be in, in an arena that's, you know. Definitely in the beginning was foreign territory, but um, you know, grew into my role and, and understanding now, know how to prepare for it, and, and uh, certainly appreciate Sunday, Mondays, and Thursdays more now that I get to talk about the game. What's your thoughts on the team as they're rebuilding, and uh, particularly the, the two quarterbacks, Ritter and uh, Mary Young? Yeah, it's, it's always ma amazing when you're going through a rebuild. You get to scout your talent and see, you know, what really works. Um, you know, you kind of you know, revamp everything and, and go back to the drawing board. And, you know, it's actually good for the coaches. You get to really pick and choose who should be where. And, uh, you know, when you got the talent, you believe in your talent, you believe in your scheme, you put them out there and you let them go. And, uh, you know, it's all football is trial and error. You got to learn from your mistakes and, uh, you know, just pick up the pieces when you when, when you fail and, and, and have more good happen than bad. How, right different, does, how different does it feel for you being here, not as a player, but as a, a journalist, or, or how different does that feel? I mean, it, it certainly feel different coming through the gates. Uh, le a, lot of, a lot less pressure. You know, I'm not coming in to go out and try to execute a, a, a third down period or, you know, red zone period, but, you know, it, it's always amazing to come and see the guys, the young guys out there, you know, busting it, you know, getting to it and, and you know trying to become great at, at what they're doing and, and trying to set an example you know um, in their own right and you know I appreciate that part I respect it and uh, it makes it more even more special to be here. What are your thoughts on Marcus Mariota and Desmond Ritter just what have you seen from them I know you've only been here a little bit but just overall what do you know about? Yeah well I, I think it's definitely Marcus job Marcus should be the starter um, you know I would think that he would be the starter you know uh, you know Desmond will have to do some amazing things um, to overcome that but at the same time, you get a chance to sit back and learn from a veteran who's had a lot of experience, a ton of experience. You get to, you know, um, just have a season with no pressure. And I think that's extremely important for a young rookie. Um, but Mark is at the helm. This team should be in good shape on offense. You know, ultimate dual threat. So he can bring some different elements to the table. And I think they got to appreciate that and use that correctly. How fast Mike, where do you think things are moving for Desmond Ritter right now as a, as a rookie? Have you been well, I haven't watched them, but I tell you, a lot of young quarterbacks come into this league a lot more game ready than back when I started out. So, um, if he's soaking it all in every day, and you know, probably most important, making mistakes and learning from them, uh, and and even vicariously learning as he, he stand back and watch, I think that's most important in the game of football. And then the speed, uh, he'll catch up to that. You said you it felt different coming through the gates today. How often you? Um, I haven't been here in a while because I know that's new right there. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, 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 I mean, it, to walk into these doors, man, bring back so many memories. Um, like I said, walked in with a lot less pressure. Um, probably the hardest thing I've done today is this interview with, you know, multiple people, multiple cameras. But uh, it, it's, it's so um, refreshing, you know, to be around football and to be around coaches who – you know, speaking the game, talking about it, and, and uh, you know, seeing a lot of familiar faces, um, people that I appreciate and got a lot of respect for. Um, that's that's really, um, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's gratifying. Does Mike, what gives you, you confidence that the future is bright with this Falcons team? What gives me confidence in this team is that everybody's starting out zero zero. You know, and uh, you know, it's all about the work you put in now and. Um, like I say, sometimes it's always good to go back to the drawing board and, and you kind of switch things up and, and see what you what can come out of it. And you know, it's not a trial and error year; it's a competitive year. You know, it's about being competitive on on all accounts and um, taking the game serious. So you know, everybody has a shot. Like I say, you start everybody starting out o, o and O, um, and you know, got a chance to to be do something really special. We know there's Mike, less pressure your... for you as well, but does it feel different for you? Like, do you miss it at all? Like, what do you miss about being the guy, the player out there? Um, I, I miss football for sure. I definitely miss it. Um, but I get my fix. I, I get my fix when I get to come do this, come out to training camps, and uh, especially when I get to, you know, analyze it on a, a weekly basis and, and break down film. So, you know, 
I don't miss getting hit. Um, and I did like to get hit when I played. So, you know, it's just the exact opposite. But we should all expect that 20 years later for sure. Michael, when you see offensive <clears throat> Yeah, well, the game is going to always evolve. I mean, I probably would have been dynamic in the offense that, you know, maybe Kyler Murray or Lamar Jackson is running today. Who knows? Um, maybe I could sustain it. Maybe I couldn't. Um, you know, I came up in my time, in my era, and that's what it was. It's, it's great to see those guys continue to carry the torch and, and play the game at a high level, um, being ultimate dual threats and, and, you know, being passes first and runners second or however it may come. It's about moving the chains. And I think, you know, more so than anything, you know, the coaches in the franchise can respect it. It's all about winning these days, and you got to do it however it comes. Do you feel like your career maybe started pushing the NFL in this direction? Well, I, I really think staying true to um, my, my style of play and not changing because, you know, I, I felt like I couldn't change. I really paved the way, and I didn't know that. Um, I was a little frustrated with it. I wanted to be, become a passer um, early, and I wanted to throw the ball a lot more than I ran. Um, but, you know, I had success, you know, on all fronts, and you, you can't argue with that. I felt like I prepared, and I did everything I could during the passing game. Won't take anything back, won't, take, won't change a thing, won't change my coaches, won't change the teammates. You know, it was an amazing experience, and, uh, you know, probably fell short on a lot of different occasions, but uh, this platform set me up for a lot of success in life, not just, you know, the things I was able to do, but the people who helped me along the way. You mentioned Kyler and a couple of other, is there an offensive tip that you see now in the NFL that you yeah, the offense, Tom Brady running in Tampa. <laughs> it's pass first, run second. What do you think of their rookie receiver, Drake London, and even Kyle Pitts? You, you know what, I, I think uh, I'm anxious to get out here and watch the receiving core and see you know, what type of camaraderie they have right now. I know uh, they're big guys, and, and they got the size advantage right off the rip. So walking into any stadium, they, they got advantage in that area, and they, they got to use that. The, the right way, and I think uh, this offense and the way it's catered uh, will allow them to be effective and, and use the size of their receivers and, and, and the way they use their running backs. You know, move forward. Do you find yourself mentoring quarterbacks, or like, is Lamar coming up to you, or are these these guys that are running past you? Do they come up to you asking tips? You know, some these guys are. I mean, they see me, they will ask questions, but for the most part, they were some of the best coordinators in the game. And uh, you know, like, just like the players are getting better, the coordinators are getting better, the offenses are getting better and more sophisticated. Um, but to a style where, to a point where, you know, guys understand what needs to be done, and that's what's most important. When you step on the field, you got to know what you're doing. And uh, if they have a, a great understanding of the game plan, they got a chance of being really successful and winning.